Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to Edition Programming Wizards. Now for today, we're going to see how we can load these particular images from our file manage from our file system. Okay, inside our SD card to our list view. Now you can see right here if we come over right here inside this particular folder, the downloads folder, you can see we have a couple of images over right here. Okay, so these are the images that shall want to read them from this our take note. We are inside SD card downloads folder. We shall want to read these particular images and then of course show them in our list view. Now for us, this is our application here. We come, simply click our fab button and then you can see our images are getting loaded lazily using Picasso library. Okay, This is it. This is what we are going to uh, see in this particular tutorial. If you click a single item, we are able to get that particular item. So guess this is it. This is our third uh, Android file system tutorial. So welcome. We we'll get started go ahead and then create our project right here i've already created my project i'm using android studio 2.1.2 now once you've done that one come over right here to our gradle scripts come to a build or gradle we're going to our list is going to consist of cards so first of all make sure that you add your card view dependency then of course we're going to be using a picasso to asynchronously load our images so also make sure that you have the dependency uh, for Picasso right here okay now of course for Picasso you're going to need internet connection uh, to load uh, its project files into application so come over right here then click this one to sync our project once we've done that one then of course we're going to move over to our manifest and then let's come over right here make sure that we add this permission for connection to internet okay uh, not f sorry not for connection to the internet for reading our external storage actually our SD card we shall be obtaining our images from my SD card so make sure that you add this particular permission then we're going to have a simple image right here that I'm going to call this going to act as our image placeholder is what shall be showing while downloading while loading our image okay from our URI uh, from our file system now come over here in your content main make sure that you add an list view give it an ID then also come over right here this is going to be our model layout this is right here we shall be having a custom layout a custom list view this will have been flatting of course uh, to represent a single view item in our list view so you can see we are simply having an image view and of course right here a text okay so please make sure that you add those ones then of course we move over to our classes classes we're going to have of course our main activity right here then also going to have another class we're going to call our custom adapter apart this is where we shall be binding of course our data is also we shall be inflating our model.xml now we're also going to have the spacecraft this is going to be our Pojo class so if we come start with this one you can see this is our data object is going to represent a single a data object a single spacecraft for us these are the properties that our space is going to have first we're going to have the name then you're going to have the image uri okay so we're going to have right here the name and of course our image uri so these are the properties that our spacecraft is going to have class this is where we shall be binding our data of course to our views okay it's also where we shall be inflating our model layout into our list view row item now the first thing of course we're going to be deriving from uh, our base adapter class so we do so now once we've done that then of course we have to come over right here override a couple of methods get count this is going to return for us the total number of spacecrafts get item is going to return for our single spacecraft object get item id we're going to simply use the position of their particular uh, spacecraft as its id get view right here we shall be inflating this our uh, layout okay into a single view into a view object then it so shall be returning okay then of course of our constructor we shall become over it and then pass our context as well as our array list of spacecrafts now once we've done that one then of course we're going to come right here inside our get view method then we're going to have uh, this one right here first checking if our view object is null take note we're being passed a view object we check if it's null if it is then we're going to inflate it from this our model layout now we use our layout inflator we pass the context inside our from method then we call the inflate method we're going to pass the first uh, the layout that of course we want to inflate in this case is that model layout then of course our view group that we're being passed and then we say false uh, meaning that we shall not be attaching the load that we've inflated into this uh, view group then of course we obtain a single spacecraft s equal to get item okay this is going to give us uh, an object we just cast this to our spacecraft then of course we're going to reference our text view 
as well as an image view to bind our data we're going to come for the text the script is going to give us the name of that particular spacecraft then now here is where we're using our picasso to load the image take note that we're loading our images from our uri okay we shall be loading them lazily as you're loading them we shall mean we'll be showing a placeholder right here so picasso dot with we pass in the context load we pass in the uri then we pass in the image view the uh, the image right here that shall be uh, using as our placeholder then into we pass in the image view into which shall be loading our images once we've done that one now if our single item is clicked we're simply going to show us toast showing us the name of that particular spacecraft and that's it this is our custom adapter class is going to help us bind our data as well as of course inflate our layout okay so let's proceed over to our main activity move over to our main activity the first thing that we're going to do is to reference our list view we're making it final because shall be calling it right here inside this particular on click listener so the first thing that we want to do we want to uh, get our data of course read our data from our file system now to do that we have uh, this method right here that's going to return for us an array list of spacecrafts get data so what we're doing here is very simple of course the first thing we're insertiating this particular array list then we come over right here we specify the download folder now file downloads folder environment.get external storage uh, public directory then of course we pass the directory that we want to target now in this case we shall be reading our images from our downloads uh, directory okay so we're passing it right here this one right is going to uh, give us a reference of course to our downloads folder once we have that one we come declare our spacecraft object now we check if that particular folder exists then of course we're going to come right here file we create an array list of files now we read all the files inside the, that particular folder now downloads folder dot list files is going to give us all the files inside that particular folder then of course we come here and then loop through all the files now for int i equal to zero i equal to files dot length i plus plus then as we for each particular iteration we shall be getting uh, every single file and then of course we store it inside this particular file reference now file equal to files then of course the index we pass the index of our iteration over there then of course we're going to go ahead and then insert our spacecraft then we come now to name we simply go call file dot get name this is going to give us the name for the, to get our uri we're going to come right here uri dot file uh, uri dot from file then of course we pass the file this is going to give us a uri we pass it over to our spacecraft then of course we come add our spacecraft to our spacecraft's collection we return that one now if we come to our own click if our floating action button is clicked we are simply going to set our adapter new custom adapter then of course we pass the context we pass our get data so this is it this is what we're going to do over right here once more just make sure that you specified uh, your read external uh, storage permission over there that's it let's run our project we run it so far our list view empty now we simply come click our fab button and very fast our images get loaded right here okay so you can see later we're having our images of course from our sd card if we click a single item we'll both get the item that we've clicked so guess this is it i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have like the video share it and also make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our android tutorials so take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial